Ja, sowieso. Hey. Probeer het maar heel rustig. Kijk wat die plaat doet. Ik heb de handremmer af. Yo. Ik ga de koppeling rustig laten opkomen. Yo. There is something special about getting stuck in the desert. It's the loneliness, the heat from the sand, and the sun burning on your skin. Strangers become friends quickly in such adventurous moments. As amateur overlanders, we were a bit nervous to cross the Sahara Desert. But let us tell you this. First year overlanders with basically no skills, driving through large dry lakes, sharp mountain edges and loose sand dunes is guaranteed an adventure. This is the Rover Without Louis, destination Morocco. We didn't take Louis with us this adventure. The far distances and short time schedules felt uncomfortable for us to take him with us. But don't be fooled, he had his own holiday, three weeks with his two best friends. He was so happy he didn't even see us leave and it will probably be hard to collect him when we come back. Our first challenge was to get enough fuel for the drive to Algeciras in Spain. Due to protests in France, there was a great shortage of fuel. Our third ferry crossing for this year. From Algeciras in Spain to Tangermet in Morocco. It's only a one and a half hour ferry crossing and the weather made it quite relaxing. After multiple border checks in Morocco, we could finally start our adventure. Chef Chouen, the city with the Blue Medina, a great first stop. Although it was the end of October, it was still very hot. We wandered around, took some pictures and enjoyed the delicious Moroccan kitchen. From Chechouen we drove to the Atlas Mountains in the south of Morocco, home to the Berbers, where you can get Moroccan tea everywhere. Once you get used to the sweetness of it, it's very delicious. Although nature is breathtaking here, it's the people who live there that make it special. A local shepherd came up to us and showed us this spectacular place with a cave. After walking around for a bit, we shared a drink and said goodbye. An easy piste with magnificent views brought us higher into the mountains. Near the end of the beast, we were stopped by a group of insane guys who did a challenge. Driving from the Sahara to Marrakesh on a mini bike? One of the bikers made a crash and couldn't continue. We made some room between our stuff in the back of the rover and shoved them in. We passed two local teenagers on a scooter that wanted to help out by driving the mini bike. This was the local hero. He had the time of his life, showed us the way to the medical post and waved proud of all his friends. The injured mini biker got some stitches, a good night's sleep and then drove back to Marrakesh. Danny, if you're watching, we hope you're okay. We went deeper into the Atlas Mountains. 
every corner the scenery changes. Sceneries that give you the feeling that you are on another planet. Areas so scarcely populated that it gives you an anxious feeling of being so alone. There are no other sounds than the wind passing by. This experience makes you feel like you're disconnected from the rest of the world. It gives you the opportunity to reconnect with each other. So we came all the way from northern Morocco to Merzuga, that's where we are right now. We are going to prepare for a four day trip in the desert. We are going to take this route to Emamit. There we are going to refuel, restock, and take another two days in the desert to Fumxiguit. <laughs> We filled up on fuel, got some groceries, and let our tire pressures down to one bar. We soon learned that one of the greatest things about overlanding is meeting other overlanders. We met up with a group, went into the dunes together and had great fun. Also, we got some lessons because we had no clue of what we were doing. We were so excited, this is one of the craziest things that we have ever done. After a great morning, we all headed further into the desert, on our way to something surreal. A remote place, 14 overland vehicles and one pizza oven. Suddenly, we find ourselves on a pizza party in the middle of the Sahara Desert. It was unexpected, crazy, but so much fun. The next morning, we decided to continue a part of the pista together with one other vehicle. Little did we know then that we would end up spending multiple days together having great fun and creating the best memories.
Okay, let's go. <laughs> we both didn't have any prior experience, but we let down our tire pressures again. And after our lessons from the other day, we were confident to face the dunes together. But sometimes confidence isn't enough. <laughs> and as we said before, getting stuck in the desert, in the heat, makes friends very fast. It took quite some sweat and quite some time. Dit gaat hem worden! Ja, ja, ja! En na een paar methoden te proberen, hebben we ze hem uit. En we zijn blij te zeggen dat vier amateur overlanders met geen no prior ervaring kan de Sahara Desert overleven. And then the time had come. We parted ways and said our goodbyes. We will miss them. After a couple of days in the desert and spending time with our new friends, we went back into the mountains. It was just the two of us again. And it was on this day that we shared one of the most special moments of our lives together.
So to celebrate our engagement, we thought, all right, let's be real overlanders and book a hotel. And we found this lovely hotel in the middle of the Atlas. It's beautiful. And now we can celebrate with a good cup of tea. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> We were coming towards the end of our trip and made our way back to the north, but not without a five-star rated pista through the anti-atlas. For us, this was an adventure of a lifetime. From epic routes to new friends, from wild camping to meeting locals, this was real overlanding. But besides all the adrenaline, what excited and inspired us the most was meeting all the fellow overlanders and adventurers. A community where age doesn't matter, where occupation doesn't matter, but it's about your passion where people exchange information and stories. Most overlanders we met were following their dreams to Uganda, to South Africa, or to destinations yet to be decided. We wish them all the best and we want to thank you. It's because of you that we realized now is the time. Time to turn our own dreams into plans. <laughs>